ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on Decidedly Vanilla with me, Vanilla Raccoon. Hey yo! And in this episode, you guys, we are only going to be working on one thing, and that is because, one, I would like to not feel overwhelmed with completing a multitude of things within a single episode, and two, I would like to fully immerse myself in any and all project that I work on. That way, I do not feel like I have to work under a certain time frame or limit whatever it is that I am doing. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and just take a quick glander as to what is new in our area in a recent live stream on Twitch, I built this structure and it is where I am going to be storing my ender pearls and then right over by the bountiful garden i built another structure that's fairly similar for the most part it looks like the one over here but when it comes to the placement of stone brick blocks stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs on the top section of it this one has its own unique placement in regards to those blocks but let's go ahead and take a look at our to-do list so today we are going to be building our business over at far haven and we're going to be talking about a new affiliation that i have recently made and that i I am for the most part very happy to have done so and it is something that you guys can also take a part in if you are able to but before we even get into that let me go ahead and gather my resources and then I'll see you over at Farhaven. Before I continue this let's play, I would like to state that the office window closest to my microphone is currently propped open and that is because I would like to cool off this room without having to use any fans or the air conditioner and since it is fairly cool outside I thought this would be a nice way to do so. But, as you can tell, we are currently over at Far Haven, and there's quite a lot of stuff over here. I mean, we have various shops, we even have a few people's bases, so to speak, and if I were to pick an ideal place to build my shop, it would be right next to Paige's windmill. However, I do not want to invade on her land that she has, and even though people here on Decidedly Vanilla are fairly chill, laid back, and loose about what goes on, what people build, and where they build it at, I at least would like to be considerate and not feel like I'm invading on someone else's turf. So that's why I decided I'm going to be building my shop over at the Raccoon Sanctuary for this reason. And also, this shop is going to be along the neoclassical and classical theme that I have been building uh, over at the Raccoon Sanctuary. So I thought it would sort of fit in with what I, what's already going on over there. So let me go ahead, get down from my high dark oak pillar, and I'll see you at the Raccoon Sanctuary, and then from there we'll go ahead and pick up a spot to build our shop at. Up until now, I have never taken a look at my base from a bird's eye view, and I must say, I'm fairly impressed with how it looks and what I have so far, and I don't even have that much. I have my place of residence to the left on your screen, and then across from there I have the Bountiful Garden, and then just southeast of the Bountiful Garden, I have the House of Sovereigns, and then I also have two structures where I house my ender pearls, but that's neither here nor there. But then right below me, we have the donkey stables, and then these two lava pools that have been pretty fun. And I gotta say again, from a bird's eye view, I'm fairly impressed with how this looks. So before I go ahead and show you guys where I'm going to be building my shop, I would like to state that eventually when we have some more structures built here, I would like to have a pathway that leads from the nether portal over there that goes down through the courtyard and then bypasses the donkey stable and right where the moomoos are currently penned, penned at, I would like to let that I would like the pathway to then branch out so you can go either to the House of Sovereigns, to a little fishing area that I'm going to be establishing later on down over there, and then more so into town. Now, when it comes to finding a place that I would like to build my shop at, I thought to myself, I could pick a spot and do some landscaping, but I don't want to do too much of that and get carried away with the initial project for this video, which is, again, to build my shop. So I thought, let me just go ahead and pick the flattest piece of land that I could find that could Probably after the shop is built, I can then do a little bit of landscaping, but not get carried away with. So I decided I'm going to be building it right there at the side of your screen. And it's going to be facing the east because I want this place to... That's something I'm starting to 
take an interest in when it comes to figuring out where I'm going to build something. Like, is it going to be facing where the sun rises? Is it going to be facing where the sun sets? How much light will be coming into the structure? That's something that maybe you may not do or someone else may not do, but it's something that I like to do because I like to try and build some form of lore into each of my builds that I do, whether it's here on Decidedly Vanilla or over in the lovely world of raccoons. But I think that's enough jibber jabbering for now, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get my build on, and I'll see you guys when the structure is at least halfway completed. I suppose at this point in time, you all are thinking one or two things. One being, the shop appears to have been fully built. And two, I did not build my shop where I said I would in the previous segment. And when it comes to the shop being fully built, well, once I get my build on, it can be a little hard at times for me to remember to take a quick little break, pull up OBS, and record a little pop 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 progress update for you all. Now, the reason why I chose to change the location in which I would build my shop, well, this little hillside right here struck me as a bit of an opportunity slash challenge to come up with a cool looking pathway that leads up to the shop so that way people can walk along it and go, hey, this pathway looks pretty cool. V, Van, Vanilla Raccoon, Nilla, Nutella, whatever it is that you, fellow server members and viewers, would like to call me, may say to yourself, you know, he built this pretty cool pathway. He may know a thing or two about building. And then when it comes to actually thinking do I really want to hire this raccoon to do a job for me whether it is build something entirely new for me or renovate something that I've already built well if they just come up to the second well to yeah to the second floor and just hang out on the balcony they'll be able to take a glance at all the marvels that I have built over here at the raccoon sanctuary but in the event that they are already sold on wanting to hire me to do an A1 job for them then they can at least hang out back here on the second balcony and just think to themselves man i hired a pretty cool dude to do a job for me i know he'll get what is that that's not mine i don't know what that is so uh <laughs> but they'll just think to themselves man i hired a pretty cool dude to do an a1 job for me and if i don't like it well it's not his fault because I hired him. I knew what I was getting myself into. Would you guys like to know a little secret about your boy V? No? Well, you're gonna hear it anyways. So, although I am a master at squirting, there are times where I may squirt into the wrong place. I may squirt at the wrong time. Or I may just by accident unintentionally squirt. So, as I was making my way back over here from my little home, I accidentally squirted into the lava pool right there. And although I knew I was doomed, I made a mad dash to this little water pool right over here. But right as I got to the edge of it, I died. And that's why my stuff was on the ground as we began to record the segment. So let's go ahead now on a less depressing note. Take a look at the inside of my shop. Now, before I go ahead and unveil it to you all, I, again, I'm going to say this as I said before. I am not the best at interior design, but it is something that I am working on. And it's something that I'm always looking for for inspiration if that makes any sense let me try that again i'm always uh, if, if, it, if anyone watching this video ever has a suggestion for how i could practice improving my interior decorating skills or give me a few examples of what some decent looking interior design looks like that i can be inspired from then i'm all ears and eyes in the event that you show it to me so with that all being said let's go ahead and take a look so right off the bat we have our stairwell that's going to lead to the second floor but before we go to the second floor if if people were to continue to wander through my shop and it's not fully interior it's not fully decorated on the inside it's still a work in progress but because i'm trying to get this video out to use all 
by the beginning of prime time here in the States. I'm a little pressed for it, but at this point now, this is just some stuff that I can do off camera and it's nothing really worth showing on camera. But if people were to continue to make their way through the ground floor of the shop, they'll see that there are some chests and then we have some crates laying about. These are note blocks, but in the A Little Taste of German Resource Pack, they look like crates, which I thought would help improve the atmosphere for the shop. And then back here, we have some more chests along with some more crates laying about. But moving on to the second floor, we now come up here and this is where I'm going to be storing most of the resources that I'm going to be using to do an A1 job for people who hire me. And then this is the balcony, nothing different has come about it. Then I decided to just to fill in the space right here because I thought something should be placed there. I took another crate and placed it down. And then moving up here to the third floor, which is technically the roof, I suppose, we have some more crates lingering around, and that's just to hide the ugly, well, it's not ugly, but that's just to cover up the andesite block, so that way people don't come up here if they do, which they shouldn't, because this is off limits, this is for builders only, <laughs> but if people were to wander all the way up here and they go, what's with the andesite lines, well, you can't really see them unless you prop open the trap, the wooden trap doors and remove move my crates that I delicately, intricately placed down. And then this is just to help mark off this part of the roof is off limit. I was thinking of actually extending my storage up here, but the realist in me thought that wouldn't make any sense because why would I store my supplies on the roof of the shop where people could easily squirt onto or just easily walk into the shop and then walk up the steps, make their way up to the roof and then take what they want and then leave and such. Oh wait, I just realized I'm supposed, there's supposed to be a stone brick slab there. Anywho, uh, so yeah, that is what the shop looks like and hopefully this helps give you guys a visual understanding as to why I chose to build it over here in the raccoon sanctuary as opposed to building it over at Far Haven. It's it doesn't take up that much space in terms of width and length, but it is a rather tall structure. And again, I didn't want to intrude onto someone else's turf. And even if that wasn't the case, I still wanted to be considerate to my fellow server members. But before we conclude this episode, I would like to make an announcement. And let me go ahead, put all my toys away. And I'll see you guys over at the DVN so we can get on with the special announcement. What is up, decidedly Vanilla Nation? I'm your host, Vanilla Raccoon, and let's get right into the news! Our first and only story comes from your boy Van V, Corn, Cornman, Nilla, Nutella, whatever it is that you like to call him. Our first and only story comes from him, where he recently confirmed on his Twitter account that he is now working with Extra Life. And in the event that you have no idea what Extra Extra Life is, or maybe you've heard of it and at this moment you're not too familiar with what they do or what they are, Extra Life is an extension of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So the funds that gamers raise go 100% to their local CMN hospital. The funds are used to help with medical bills, finance expensive treatments, fly-in specialists for treatments, and things along those lines. They also help with family support. So say that that a child is falling behind in school due to treatments, CMN will step in and coordinate with the school. Now, if you were to set up your own donation page, it is treated like an event that begins on January 1st up until December 31st, which gives you one whole year to be able to reach your goal. Now, what is a goal? Well, it's simply a way that it helps encourage people to raise as much money as they can so that they can help as many people as they can. Now, in the in the description section of every single video that Vanilla Raccoon will now upload, you will be able to find a link that will take you to his page where you will be able to donate money to. But if you are unable to donate any money at this point in time, do not worry because again, this is a year-round thing and the only thing that changes is 
once it becomes January 1st, a whole new year, that is when all the money that you have raised for that goal will go back to zero and you can start over to try and meet your goal in the event that you did not meet your goal. This is a very wonderful thing that Vanilla Raccoon is starting to do and in the event that you, the viewer, would like to help a sick child or help someone in general, then here is your chance to do so. But unfortunately, that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. Thank you all ever so much for tuning in. And in the event that you like what you see, then please give that like button a hug and subscribe for the latest buzz. And in the event that, and if you had a blast with a good laugh, then make sure you favorite this video and share it with a friend or two. But until next time, peeps, this is Vanilla Raccoon with my friendly Jack-O-Lantern here. Peace out. Oh, hey, look, there's a Jack-O-Lantern operating the camera. Oh, that's so cool.